front. His Imperial Majesty has ordered that you be executed. Here and now. Stand aside. Obey, or your friends die with you. Ready, boy. Stand over there. Reassure your friends, Flash. Your disappearance will startle them. I don't understand what you're talking about, Zarkov. I'm right here. What scared off the guards? Just a moment, my friend. You see... Oh, of course I see. What are you driving at? Try to see yourself. Raise your hand before your eyes. I can't see my hand. I see right through it. Baron, Dale, what happened? What have you done to me, Zarkov? To save your life, I tried an experiment which proved successful. Experiment. I have discovered a ray which will render a human being invisible without harming it. I don't like it. <laughs> Bring him back again, Doctor. I want to see him alive. Don't worry, my dear. Your flesh has plenty of life. But since you insist on seeing him, stand against the wall as you wear flesh. It's taking so long, Zarkov. Flash! Ha! Oh, you're a wizard, Doctor. You needed one just then, Flash, to save your life. Well, you not only saved my life, but you saved the lives of all of us. You know, if we all could become invisible, Ming would be helpless against us. There's only one drawback. I don't know as yet how long a person may remain invisible. Well, we'll have to find that out. True. But if anything should happen to the machine during the experiment, the invisible person might remain so forever. Let me take that risk. Make me invisible and no, I'll... No, no, Baron. You're a prince of the royal blood. I'll make the test. Besides, there's a little visit I'd like to make and see. No, don't let him, Doctor. Now, listen. If there's any chance to take, I'm the one to take it. Go ahead, Doc. Turn on the juice. Invisible flash. An amazing demonstration. I feel no lessening of my power or strength. Say, Doc, don't let anything happen to that machine until I get back. Don't worry, Dale. I'll be back soon. I am disappeared before our eyes. You expect me to believe this impossible tale? I speak the truth, Your Majesty. My men will bear me out in this. Bring in Flash Gordon, dead or alive. If you fail, your life will be forfeited. Flash Gordon is here, Your Majesty, and very much alive. Unless you promise to release my friends, this is only a sample of what's in store for you. Coward! Are you going to stand there and let him kill me? A fortune to the one who will! I could take your worthless life, Ming. But because of your daughter, Prince Baron asked that your life be spared. Don't let him escape! Guard the door! off my friends. I shall be watching you always. You must do something, Father. You're in danger of losing your empire through the trickery of the Earth people. This is no trick, Your Majesty. 
It is the vengeance of the great god Teo. Teo is displeased. Lock up this babbling ape. Well, Your Majesty, I... Over the tarts! This invisibility has been brought about by some contrivance invented by Dr. Sarkoff in our own laboratory. There is no doubt about it, Your Majesty. This machine must be destroyed. But not until the Earthman has again become visible. I have preserved the life of this Earthman long enough because of your whims. Now I... But you can't find a man you cannot see. You're right. Leave them in the laboratory. I will find some means of overhearing their conversation. Give me a guard to help me. Give me that gun. <laughs> All right, Bolton, old boy. I'll have you out of here in one minute. <laughs> Flash, where are you? Dr. Zarkov is waiting for you in the laboratory. I'll clear the way. Watch that gate. Follow me, Walton. Seek, are you stricken dumb? Bolton has escaped from the dungeons. The doors were opened by magic. Double the guards throughout the palace. Order the men to be on the alert. And fire on the earth man at the first indication of his presence. It shall be done, your majesty. Oh, not these men. Let them remain here to trap him if he should return. Yes, your majesty. <gasps> All right, Doc. Show Bolton how it's done. <laughs> and I will give Emperor Ming such a five minutes he never had before. Oh. <laughs> There's no time, Your Majesty. We must finish our preparation for flight. They are a stored power to carry our rocket ship to your sky city and thence to the Earth. Well, you better make me invisible again, Doctor. Might come in handy when we take those power magazines to the ship. No, not again, Flash. No. The earth falling. This time we may be able to get their message. Come. The earth calling. The earth calling. Zarkov calling New York. Zarkov calling the earth. New York. Zarkov calling New York. Zarkov calling New York. Coming in more clearly now. Zarkov speaking from planet Mongo. Listen carefully. We have very little more sending power. Tell Professor Gordon his son Flash is with me. Planet Mongo. It's the miracle of the ages. Quiet. Dale Arden also here. All in great danger. Gordon, your son lives. Your son lives, Gordon. Yes, and Zarkov has conquered space. The wave has faded. We must work fast and get the ship ready. Step into the machine, Flash. No, don't. No, don't worry, Dale. Come on, now. You are 
are now invisible flesh. We must hurry, Zarkov. Tell us your plan. Your Highness will stay here with Dale. While we take the magazines to our ship. Also guard the invisibility machine closely. I don't know that I can restore Flash without it. Please hurry, Flash. I'll be back soon, Dale. We'll stand guard. Ready, gentlemen. What's the matter, Doc? Too heavy for you? <laughs> Step on it, Zakov. I'm crowding up on you. Inform the Emperor. Tell him to send guards to capture Prince Baron and Dale. Then trap the others when they return. Now go. I'm worried about Flash. You needn't be. Invisible is equal to an army. He could go... Careful. We're being watched. Every word we've spoken has been overheard. I must get you to a hiding place at once. But the machine. I'll come back and guard it. But if Ming gets hold of you now, he can force Flash to any terms. But if you... Come quickly. We're having a moment to spare. Where are you taking me? To a cave in the catacombs under the palace. Her Royal Highness Princess Aura remains watching the laboratory. A strong body of men. We must prevent Sarkov and Dale Orton leaving the planet Mongo. And as for Flash Gordon... What is it? Prince Baron has taken Dale Orton to one of the caves in the catacombs. find Dale Arden for you. Set your trap. Don't you dare touch that machine until Flash again becomes visible. Follow her plan. But remember, destroy Flash Garden instantly wherever you find it. Well, what is your answer? You set me a difficult task, Your Royal Highness. Prince Baron knows all the intricacies of the catacombs beneath the palace. Yes, he has taken her to one of the caves. There are hundreds of caves. That's why I've come to you. The sacred tigrant can follow a trail anywhere. We must have something that has been worn by the fugitive. Here is one of Dale Arden's sandals. This is a dangerous mission. Obey my command. You'll be all right here. No one can trace you through these tunnels. Well, when will you be back? Just as soon as they've warned the others that our plans were overheard. Now, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Dale. Baron. Gone. Prince Barry. They must have been carried off. Wait. Baron wouldn't be taken without a fight. There's no sign of a struggle here. No, this job is one of craft, not a force. I see the hand of Princess Aura in this. Come on. Stand up, Flash. Where's Flash Gordon? Right here. Oh. Come on! You want to 
Tigran is acting strangely. We must be near the girl. 